uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will be solving this interesting interview question okay so let's start so basically we have a rc based circuit you can see right we have two capacitance and uh, they are uh, previously uncharged okay like anything is not mentioned means the capacitor initial conditions are uh, like zero volt okay and we have a like uh, input current like that and this is a step current okay step current of i okay so what we need to find so we need to find the node voltage uh, at this node right the v out node right with respect to time right so let's say okay so so we have two conditions uh, a and b when the c1 is equal to c and c2 is equal to 100 times c and there is another case so we will be uh, we'll be solving one case and then we will try to like uh, answer the uh, uh, same mm -hmm. question using this question b okay so so and we are going to solve by intuition okay we uh, we are not going to write so many equations okay so now we know that let's say at t equals zero we know at t equals zero let's say zero plus the uh, circuit fills a infinite frequency okay infinite frequency so our capacitor cap x lies short short circuit right sorted right now we can see there is two path one path is here and another path is there right but now we can see that these two capacitor uh, provides very very low impedance path okay so what will be the circuit so the equivalent circuit at t equals zero plus will be looking like the following okay so we can see so this will be a resistance this will be a short circuit and there is a resistance and this is v out right so how do we can say so we can see that all the current flows through this short circuited path right so what will be the equivalent picture again so we can see that the picture will be looking like this right so it is our v out node so what will be the v out at uh, t equals 0 plus so v out will be nothing but i into r right this is the i right so uh, yes so this is r2 and this is r okay so this is r2 and this is r okay now what what will be the case at t equals infinity so at t equals infinity the capacitor like the frequency is zero right and the capacitor are open circuit right because it provides very very high impedance okay very very high impedance high impedance right okay so it provides very very high impedance now what will be the equivalent circuit so if a resistance like if we have a resistance finite resistance and have a an infinite impedance okay let's say this is the infinite impedance. so this model will replace by this high impedance only right because this comes in series right so this is the case okay so this value let's say this is the c c c1 i guess yes uh, no this is c2 okay so this is c2 so the equivalent model will be equal to c2 only okay so now the equivalent the equivalent circuit will be like the following okay so this series path will be a single capacitor right so this is c2 and this is c and this is i right now what will be the v out at steady state so we can see that these two capacitor comes in parallel okay so so the equivalent picture again will be like the following okay so these two impedance comes in parallel so all of the capacitance will be added right so this will be let's say c equivalent will be nothing but c1 plus c2 okay now what will be the case so our output will be so a constant current is charging a capacitor right then what will be the waveform so the it will be a ramp right so at steady state the output will be a ramp okay and what will be the slope so actually so we can find that the uh, the at steady state the output will be ramping up right because a constant current is charging a capacitor right so this will be nothing but i by c integration dt right so this is the case and here you can see that this is a constant and this is also a constant and we have to so if i reduce the thing so this will be nothing but this case so this is the like the vc the v out is proportionate to the uh, like that yeah, like the time right and this will be a ramp function and the overall output will be nothing but we can see that there will be always a drop of ir right so v out will be nothing but ir plus 
the i by c into t okay so this will be the final equation okay so now as steady state the output is like a ram and the at as steady like at t equals 0 product the output is ir right now if i draw the output waveform like this what will be the case so we can see so at at t equals 0 plus t equals 0 this is and this is the time and let's say this is t equals infinity okay so at t equals 0 the output uh, like goes to i into r right at t equals 0 plus then it is like at steady state it is ramping up like this right now in between this time period what will be the behavior of the uh, waveform so we can see that whenever the time increases whenever the time increases the capacitor of these two uh, uh, of these two capacitor is increasing right so now we know that the waveform will be exponential okay like uh, why exponential because the this two uh, this two current is not equal so the waveform cannot be a ramp okay and this current is not infinite in these two branch branch so that there cannot be a certain jump at uh, across the capacitor voltage okay right so the, there will not be a linear right in this time period and there cannot be a sudden jump across the output voltage of the capacitor okay so only thing we have there is exponential thing okay and because this these two capacitor are increasing uh, with respect to time so the uh, uh, like effective uh, like the effective voltage at, at this node will be exponential okay so we can find that this will be exponential e increasing right so let's say this will this will be like this okay and at steady state it will be a ramp it will be a ramp okay at steady state so this is the thing okay now we have to find what will be the slope at this steady state okay slope at t equals infinity and we have to find what is the slope at this t equals let's say some some zero plus okay let's say some let's say zero plus okay let's say let's say one microsecond and so on and this is let's say t equals like uh, thousands of second and so on okay so we can we can think about think like that okay so this is the final waveform but uh, the question is about the slope okay so the initial slope is so the final slope is nothing but so final slope will be nothing but so you can see that slope is i by c okay and c is nothing but c equivalent here okay so here the slope will be slope will be nothing but i by c equivalent right so c equivalent nothing but c on plus c2 and this is nothing but i by uh, 100 uh, c1 is 100 c right first case okay uh, okay now c1 is c and c2 is 100 c okay so in this first case so in this first case c1 is equal to c and c2 equals 100 times c okay so this will be nothing but uh, uh, so this will be nothing but 100 and on c right so this will be the slope now what will be the case at t equals 0 let's say 0 plus or t equals 1 microsecond very very like t equals very very less so we can see that at t equals very very less like like t equals let's say some 0 plus okay and the time is very very less so wh which which capacitor will be dominant here how can how can we tell so we can see that there is a finite resistance right so all of the current has to flow through this path c1 okay because this at t equals 0 plus this impedance uh, like makes the overall thing uh, like this 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 capacitor contribute to the output okay like this capacitance is the effective capacitance okay so at t equals 0 plus the slope will be depending upon this c1 okay so now this slope will be this slope this slope will be nothing but i by c1 okay so c1 is nothing but c itself okay so this will be i by c okay so this is the thing so how do we find that uh, the at t equals 0 the output is nothing but i into r as all the capacitor is sorted so there will be a drop across the r okay so we will get that and at t equals infinity so we can see that the there is a effective uh, like series path of r and c with a constant current source so the output will be a ramp like that okay and there will be a uh, like slope of slope of i by c equivalent and c equivalent is nothing but two two capacitors comes in parallel so they they will be added like this okay and at t equals zero plus we can see that some zero plus so uh, the slope is mainly depending upon this capacitance okay right this capacitor not not this capacitance okay 
so basically this is the thing now we have to so we have solved this first case now we have to solve the second case okay so the waveform will be same but the slope will be different okay so the slope waveform will be same right Uh, okay, let me think. So, t equals zero plus the this capacitance will be effective, right? So, whenever the time increases, uh, this capacitance is increasing, and like this impedance is increasing, and this impedance is also increasing. But um, effectively, uh, as there is a resistance, so this this capacitor will be dominant. Yes. So we can see that the initial slope, like the the slope at this. Thing and slope at this thing is not same. Okay, so we can initial initial slope is not like initial slope is uh, like very very greater than right greater than uh, final slope right final slope because the C well C one is C it's C C itself right C one is C itself. Now okay, so for this case case two okay this is case two where uh, this is T okay where C one is Hundred C and and uh, C two is C itself, right? Okay, let me check. Uh, C two is C. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now in this case, the waveform, the nature of the waveform will be same as we have discussed. So there will be thing like and there will be a exponential and then it will like ramping up like this. Okay. Okay. So now. Uh, so this is t equals zero. And this is v out. Now this is the slope of i not i by i by c one, right? And this is the slope is i by c equivalent, right? So the final final slope is same, right? Final slope final slope is same. This is i by hundred uh, on c, right? I by hundred. But what about the uh, initial slope here? So initial slope will be nothing but i by 100 c. So here we can see that the initial slope, any in initial slope, is almost equal to the final slope. So this is the thing. Okay, final slope. So this is the two different things. So what happens is basically this slope, this slope, and this slope will be same. Okay. So basically, this will be a almost a linear thing as well. Okay, almost linear, but not linear. But this will be a exponential thing. Okay, this is the exponential thing. But but eventually, this is like very close, so it will be looking like similar a similar a straight line. Okay, so this is the thing. So basically, I believe this is a very good question according to me. Okay, and the second question is given only for that slope thing. Okay, so thank you everyone. You can put your valuable picture. Thank you.